I've got a piece of uh, looks like crescent quarry here. Um, I'm gonna use the notchomatic to see if I can lay some notches in here. Um, probably gonna try to make this a little short base harden. Um, the notchomatic tool is this thing here. It's got a kind of a screwdriver tip. It's a uh, annealed steel and uh it's split in the middle it's got this magnet here and uh you kind of use it like a little indirect punching tool so we're going to see if we can't um, lay some notches in with the uh the notchomatic here and uh, i'll show you how it works so if you look at the base on this it's not particularly thin um but uh with this notchomatic tool you can kind of have your way with it so um, let's see here. I'll just go ahead and uh, start a flake here. So I'm just going to catch just a little bit of the edge here. So there's my first flake. So I'm going to use the tool to kind of dress it down just a little bit here. Um, just like any notching tool, whether you're using a, a punch or pressure flaking in your notches you got to make sure the elevation of your platform is right um, this notchomatic tool is pretty powerful and it will take off a conchoidal fracture pretty much every time so that took a flake all the way up into here so it's a pretty nice little guide flake that'll help us out Okay, so I'm just going to catch the smallest amount of the platform here. I think I slipped off. Took a flake all the way up into here. It's already starting to look like a hard near. Okay, the elevation of that platform is a little close to the center for my taste. I don't want to blow off an ear here, so I'm going to do a little bit more dressing. And I'm going to catch just the slightest little bit. Of that platform. Now this extra mass on this ear has got me a little worried because I think if I take the, a strong enough flake it could wrap around and pull that whole ear off. So I'm going to move my platform over just a little bit and I'm going to try to move it up. Just one after my uh, pressure notching tool It's going to help me change the elevation of my platform here okay we're gonna try that I'm gonna do maybe 
maybe one more in this corner. And bang. So there you have it. It's a really nice conchoidal flake scars. Um, just like you'd see on a real hardened. So I'll need to clean this base up a little bit. Um, probably go ahead and do this other ear first. But uh, this kind of gives you an idea of how the notch o -matic can help you and uh, keep you from busting an ear. What's nice about this tool is when you do a flake, um, you don't have to worry about, you know, rotating uh, your punch here. It's uh, it's pretty much going to stay, stay solid because you're able to hold it um, by pinching it here so it doesn't rock when you hit it if you were using, uh, you know, like a normal punch would. Uh, so... I think I'm going to do one more here and uh, just get that termination cleaned up so that I've got that nice uh, swooping ear here. So, worked out pretty good. Um, not dramatic. Okay, here's a piece of harvester that I've got. And... Uh, been working on it a little off and on and I've got this step fracture right here I'm gonna see if I can't use the old notch matic to remove that step fracture because if I hit into that again it's gonna get worse so let's see what I can do here there it is gone okay so you may be thinking um well not dramatic's okay on thin stuff but how does it do on thick stuff so i've got uh just a chunk here that's uh pretty beefy and uh i'm just going to show you what you can do with uh, something that's got some some mass like this so Again, this is probably uh, three eighths of an inch thick here on the along the edge, and you know, pretty beefy in the middle. So I'm just going to use this as a test piece here, just to show you what you can do with a with a thick piece of stone. So um, I'm just going to go ahead and get on the edge here and get a flake started or not started. So uh, with this, I'm going to work kind of straight up and down again. Bang. Lots of horsepower on the old uh, notchmatic tool here. another one on this same side here just so I'm trying to work some uh, magic here against the the midline of this point popped out a lot of mass on that one
So guys, there you have it. Thick or thin. You can kind of have your way with your rock if you got the old notchmatic tool. You can see how we just worked that right in there. Got your uh, conchoidal flakes there. The old notch -matic.